Um, and uh, Lucy was was a big fan favorite of the first book, so this is really her story about how she uh, moves in with a, with a bunch of wacky witches, um, and uh, I, I can't wait for you guys all to meet the new, new characters, because I think you're really going to love them. I know you guys will love them. I got to read it, um, and I had the best time, so everyone else will, will enjoy it even more, I'm sure, than I did, because they're all fans of you. They love you. <laughs> oh, so fingers crossed. Yeah. So would you like to get us started with a sneak peek and please read from the book? Oh, I, of course. Well, I have one right here, thankfully. So yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to skedaddle right. away, but you go ahead and read. Okay, everybody get comfortable and, and get, maybe get a snack. Well, I hope you already have a snack. No, don't leave now. It's about to get good. But um, uh, so here we go. So this is a little excerpt from uh, one of my favorite chapters in the book. Um, and uh, I'll just dive right into it. I won't even give you a, uh, a heads up of what's going on. All right, so, I hope Mrs. V gets back soon, Tangerina said. I'm so tired, the only thing that could possibly energize me is some good old-fashioned royal gossip. I'm so tired, I'm seeing spots. Can you unmute yourself? <laughs> oh wait, Chris, we got we can't hear you. You gotta unmute us. We wanna hear your voice. Sorry. Can you hear okay. me now? Perfect. Okay, I, I I think that was a direct sabotage from the Righteous Brotherhood, and when you read the book, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, take two. Alright, take two. Alright, so where was I? Swans? Alright, so I must be delirious too, because I'm also seeing swans. Zampa said. Everyone turned toward the window and realized it wasn't a hallucination. Soaring through the sky, heading straight for the academy, was a flock of swans and a young girl on a broomstick. The birds were tethered to the broomstick like balloons, and the girl carried a bulging bag with her. They flew closer and closer to the, to the castle with no sign of stopping. The fairies dived behind the sofa as the procession crashed through the window and showered the office in broken glass. The broomstick snapped in half, and seven pumpkins burst out from the bag and rolled in every direction. The travelers somersaulted across the floor and collapsed in a pile. Ah, ouch, Lucy groaned. Dang, I could have sworn that window was open. She brushed all the, all the glass off her body, released the swans from their tethers, and quickly gathered all the jack-o'-lanterns back into the bag. The fairies immediately recognized her voice, but couldn't believe how different she looked. Lucy? Imerelda gasped. Is that you? You look incredible, Zampa said. What happened? Tangerina asked. Yeah, 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 I'm basically a model now, he said. Where's Bristol? We don't know, Imerelda said. Crap, I, I can't wait for her. I need you guys to do it. Lucy raced to the bookshelves and feverishly searched through the titles. The fairies were confused. If Lucy's new appearance wasn't worrying enough already, her frantic behavior put them all on edge. Wait, what do you want us to do? Skyline asked. Oh, just a little favor, Lucy said with a nervous laugh. Think of it as a fun group activity. A great way for us to bond and let bygones be. Spit it out, Lucy, Tangerina said. I need you to help me get rid of a curse. And that's where I'll leave you. <laughs> oh, what a tease. You teased us. I, I, I've been known to uh, to tease, so uh, that's, that, that tracks for me. <laughs> well, enough with the teasing. I think it is time for some games. I can feel our audience. They are, like, itching to chat with you and play. So today, yes, today, everyone, we are playing two games. First, we are playing trivia, and then we are playing stump the author. So, trivia time. Let's get some trivia time. 
So we are going to select people at random to play today. So if you want to play trivia, come into the room on camera. Please use the Zoom button to raise your hand now. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. There are five rounds of trivia with only one question per round. Every round, we will be selecting three contestants at random to come on screen and play trivia live with Chris. If you are selected, please follow the prompt to turn on your video and make sure you are in gallery view when you enter the room. All right, so we've got contestants coming into the room. Everyone's being promoted. Oh my gosh, we have so many people that are like itching to play this game. All right, let's get everyone in. All these Zooms. Everyone should know how to Zoom by now. We've been doing it for six months, right? Oh my gosh, right? It's like a new pastime. <laughs> Welcome! Hi. Is it Isla? Am I saying that right? Give me a thumbs up if I am. Yes, finally. Oh, great. Thank you. Go ahead and mute yourself. Hi, guys. Thank you. Hi, welcome. I have a prompt um, hiding your name. I'm so sorry. I can't see it just yet. Is it, is it uh, uh, Saria? Is that it? I think right. that was it. I think I got it right. Saria, Isla, Charlene. Hi, Charlene. Oh, maybe Charlene disappeared. Hello? Hello? Hi. Here we are. Hi. Make sure to mute Hi. yourself. Thank you, you so much. Welcome into the room. All right. So these are our first three contestants. Now, as you guys come into the room, remember, we are doing only book trivia. We will have time questions for later in the program. So it's trivia time. Chris will be asking you guys a question. And now I want you to raise your actual hand, not the button, but raise your actual hand to buzz in for the answer. And everyone else, remind, remember this for later on if you get in the room. Raise your actual hand to buzz in for the answer. I will call on the first person I see to unmute yourself and answer. If you get the question right, we have an amazing prize for you. You are going to win an invitation to join Chris in a private meet and greet right after we finish up today. So, <laughs> here we go. Right, ready? Here is the first question. And some of these questions are about uh, Tale of Magic, some of them are about um, uh, tale, oh, tale, uh, tale of Magic. All right, sorry, first question, here we go. Can you name five characters that appear in both the Tale of Magic series and the Land of Story series? Oh, I think I saw Isla's uh, arm go up first. All right, go ahead and unmute yourself, Isla. Okay, so it's Bristol Evergreen, I, no worries. Evergreen, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Lucy, um, yeah, never mind, I can't think of any more. Oh, it was so close. Sorry, I, I oh. totally saw your arm go up next. Um, Crystal Evergreen, Sky Lean, um, Lucy, Tangerina, Mrs. V, Madam, and Madam Weatherberry. Okay, I, I, Mrs. V was a surprise, so I don't even know how you know that yet. But that, yes, that's correct. Thank you so much. And Isla, uh, Isla, I think, I think, I think you should be able to. You should win the meet and greet as well, since you since you gave you gave a, a two of those answers too. All right. So both of you girls, Isla and Saria, you are going to the meet and greet. So please check your email shortly for the link to join our private meet and greet. And it is after we finish all of this today. It is being sent to the email that you are sent in with for this event so please be sure to sign on to that separate meeting as soon as we are done with this event all right next group bye girls we'll see you later we're gonna get three more people okay that's question one we've got four more four more awesome how are you feeling chris i'm good i'm good i'm excited i'm excited too yeah, yeah. i like it i like our dancing hi gwen welcome to the room hi gwen Who is next? Who is next? Oh, we got two. Oh, got two of them. Two Hi, guys. Hi, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think your name is Paula, but you never know. Um, <laughs> that's okay. It's our mom's name. Perfect. <laughs> all right. That's all right. I assumed so, but yeah. no one ever wants to assume. So welcome to the room. Um, should Hey, anyone who's 
helping me out? Do mm. we just have these two since we got two strapping gentlemen in one video? <laughs> mm. Oh, it looks like we got two on a, on a, or three in this other one, too. All right, it's a team effort. Hi, Erica. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, like it. Must be the, uh, the Walker family. Hi, Walker family. All right, question two. Right, question two. What does the banner in the Bootstrap Correctional Facility say after it's destroyed by the swarm of birds? Oh, I might have stumped. I might have stumped people with this one. Mm -hmm. This is this one is hard. It is hard. It is hard. Even I had to look it up. So. <laughs> Think really hard. Chris, can you give us a clue? It starts with the words "good girls." Oh, oh, the Walker family. I saw a hand from the Walker family. Good girls never obey. That, you know what, that, you know, that is the first, the first on the sign before it gets destroyed. But, you know, since you remember that, I'm going to give it to you anyway. Ah, uh, Walker family. You did it, Chris. What is actually on the banner? It, when the bird destroyed, it says, good girls always want more. And now I'm very impressed with the Walkers that you the the original uh, first first uh, first line on the banner. So so great job. I'll see yeah, you guys yeah. Congratulations, Walker family. Make sure to check your email and you will sign on to the special meet and greet after this is over. Hi, thank you, Gwen, and thank you, Apollo's boys. <laughs> it's so fun to see everyone. It makes us feel like we're in everyone's homes. Right, right. All right, we have question three. Three more questions, three more. Right. Hi, Gabe. Hi, Gabe. Cool. Oh, I love your, but your, your, the wall behind you. I love those colors. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Welcome. All right, we got one more. Who's the lucky? Who's the lucky human? One more. We need three for three. Three for the right, three for three. All right. Lynn! Hi, Lynn. <laughs> Surprise! You're on the camera. All right. Gabe, Lynn, Sophie, get your thinking caps on. Question three. All right. What is Madam Weatherberry's full name? Oh, Lynn knows. It is itching her head. <laughs> I'll give you guys a hint. The first word is snowy. Should we do the cat? We need like a we need like a Jeopardy theme, like a two. Nine, two, eight. Oh, Lynn. Lynn Bird. Snowbird? No, it's not Snowbird. Oh. Nice Wait. job, though. Nice try, though, Lynn. You did try. All right. Can we get three more people into the room? You got Gabe. you'll 
we sent that link into your email um, and you can join us after the event. All right, so we need one more person for our fourth question. Am I saying everyone's name right? Lorelai and Delaney? Okay, perfect. I am awful with names, so, so I apologize now to everybody. You and I have kind of easier names, I guess, but yeah. my my last name's not easy, so I get I get the names. Yeah. And it's pronounced a pachoon, right? Yes, you sneeze. Pachoon. <laughs> like a sneeze. <laughs> Pretty easy. All right, Danielle. welcome, Danielle. Hi. You're with Chris Colfer. All right, so here Hi. is the third question, I believe. Third or, or fourth question? Fourth question. Fourth Go ahead and mute yourself, Danielle. Thank you. All right, here we go. What are the four categories of magic that Madame Weatherberry teaches her students? I probably should start singing that before I owe someone some money. I know, right? <laughs> All right, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh nice try, girls. Sorry. All right, hey, thanks guys. all for joining in. We are going to have three new people come into the room. And anyone who will be joining us, um, we're just going to say your names first. So save save your questions until um, you raise your hand and I call on you. Yeah. We just want to meet you first. Four. We got to name four things. Four things. That's pretty great. Four things for our fourth question, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I wish I planned it that way. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's coming into the room? Audrey. Uh, Audrey. Audrey. Go ahead and mute yourself. We're not taking answers yet. Audrey. All right. I have kind of the same glasses. Yeah. Hi, Giovanni. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Oh, yay. And hi, Kelly. Go, uh -huh. ahead. Go ahead and stay muted. Okay. Chris, do you want to repeat the question for our Absolutely. Viewers? All right. What are the four categories of magic that Madam Weatherbury teaches her students? Go. Raise your hand if you know it. Your actual hand. We're going to write a song for this. For the we, we, we Kelly. Oh, Kelly, raise your hand. Northern. 
Northern Kingdom? That is that. That is right. That is the kingdom. Do you know what what, what city it is? What city it's in? I d no. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. All right. How about you guys? Jaden or Megan? Any ideas? All right. We're gonna pass on on these amazing humans. We're gonna get three new people into the room. It's okay. You guys can read the book as many times as you want. That's great to see you guys. Thank you for playing. That's what's so magical about books, right? We can go back and read and reinvest and learn new things. Yeah. All right. Final, final fifth. So Chris, you want to tell everyone about uh, your backdrops and your decor in the yes. back? Yes. Well, I can say that I am covered in scrapes and burns from putting it together. But, um, oh, hi, Lexi. How's it going? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, I really love, I love Halloween. So uh, this is a great excuse to put it all up. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Oh, my gosh. Carla Martini. I love, or is it Martini? Is that your last name? I love that last name. That's so fun. Yeah. Hi, Sierra. All right, everyone. Welcome to the fifth and final round of trivia. Hopefully, one of you know this question. All right. Ready, guys? All right. What town in the Northern Kingdom does Bristol face the Snow Queen in? Go. You got it for, oh, Martini family. It's very, oh, very, very close. All right, I'll give you guys a hint. It's on the map. <laughs> oh, I think we're gonna do one more group. Wait, I have. Oh, Lexi. Lexi. Oh, Lexi. Is it? Is it Astria? No, that's not it. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Oh, so close. Sierra, why don't you try while you're still trying? Um, is it? Wait, it's coming to me. Um, ah, I can't. I had it like a second ago. Um, um, uh, I don't know. I just like it was on the tip of my tongue, and then I just forgot it again. That's um, all right. All right, Martini family, for one last, last thing. First letter, Chris. Can you give us the first letter? It it starts with a T. Yes, that's it. Yay! Good job. Good job. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. Martini. Good job. You guys are going to the meet and greet. Lexi and Sierra, thanks for joining us. So good to see you guys. Thank you for playing. Oh, um, Sierra, I really like your bedroom. Very colorful. I know, it's so cool. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us and playing trivia. Chris, I love trivia. It's fun. But. Now that we've already kind of stumped the author, author we're really going to try to stump the author. So, <laughs> audience, this is your chance to turn the tables on Chris and try to stump him with questions from his own series. Any book, characters, plot, location, the world, or worlds. See what I did there? Are your oyster? So we are going to be selecting a few people from our audience at random. The only rule is that you actually have to have a question to try to stump Chris. Now remember, this is the time for stump the author questions only. We have a Q&A later in the show. So please raise your Zoom hand, not your physical hand, but your Zoom hand, if you have a question ready and want to play. Might be the easiest part of your guys' day. I know. All right, this is going to be so much fun. So again, remember, if you are selected, please follow the prompt to turn on your video, and I will call on you to unmute yourself. I like our dance. We go back. No, 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 no. We're, we're so in sync. Like, we're... <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's choreography. So we're going to promote four people to come into the room, and it's going to be so much fun. Oh, yes. Sylvie family. Hi, Hannah. Hi, oh, Jay. my God. <laughs> All right, make sure you stay muted. Okay, so this is Stump the Author. Bovey family, do you have a question to Stump the Author with Chris? Make sure you unmute yourself. Yeah, 
Do I know where the portal uh, in New Swanstein Castle is? Oh my gosh, in I... In stories. In the land stories, yeah. Okay, so I, um, I, I, I know what words I use to describe the room, but I forget what the room is called. Um, I believe it was the, um, oh gosh, um, oh, was it the gallery? Mrs. Peter. 
Spirit. Mm. Yeah, thank you so much. Those are, yeah, I, I just, yeah, I love Mrs. Peters. That's not, but, but maybe on a bad day, bad day, I would have forgotten her name. <laughs> thank you so much for playing, Thanks, Riley. Riley. Hi, Ari. Am I saying that Ari? right? Yeah. Hi, you yeah. are. Yeah. Last question for Stumpy Author, so make it a good one. When Lucy first arrives, what kind of cake does Bristol make for her? I have no idea. I, um, is it? It's not red velvet. No. Oh, what is it? It's chocolate. Oh my god! I thought I was way more creative than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Oh, so, oh, well, thank you for that question. I, I'll, I'll see you at the meet and greet too. Thank you. Thank you, Ari. Contestants, you did an incredible job. Chris, nice. how do you feel? I feel, oh my gosh, I, 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 I feel very stupid. <laughs> well, we don't think you are. We think you, that you are amazing. Um, but I will say what is also amazing is I'm checking this Q&A box as we've been doing the whole evening, and it is blowing up. So I think it is now time to All take right. questions from the audience. Are you okay with that? I'm so excited to, yes. Okay, cool. So everyone. This is your chance to ask Chris all of your burning questions. We do have limited time, and there are a lot of amazing human goodnesses of you. So before we try to get to as many people as possible, if you are selected, we will bring you into the room to ask your question to Chris directly. Please remember only one question per person, and if you get a prompt to be promoted, go ahead and turn on your video, make sure you're in gallery view, and I will call to unmute yourself. So let's bring everyone into the room right now. This is so exciting. Oh my God. He's the head of the household full of your biggest fans. So much so that your books are the only children's books my kids won't let me near. They won't let me read them to them. I don't, I, I am, I'm at a loss, but they have sent questions to you. <laughs> okay. How has your writing process changed during lockdown? Has it been helpful or has it been horrible? Thank oh you. Thanks God. for turning my oh. kids, especially my son, into a reader. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Super. Oh my God. Uh, uh, what was her question? I, I don't remember. <laughs> so much to me that, that they that they, they they want it to be real um and I, I remember when i was a kid and i i used to read you know all the books that i read i i was desperately wish for those, those worlds to be real so it means so much to me that kiddos want the land stories to be real um so yeah thank you and also there's there's that story when the woman asked me to sign her baby i'll never forget that one so thank <laughs> you tracy <laughs> that's incredible and i think the land of stories are real oh thank you probably okay. is who knows yeah Next question, please go ahead and unmute yourself. 